Perfect. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another ASEA Global Expansion Team Zoom. We have three incredible leaders joining us tonight. All of them have built platinum businesses in ASEA, and they all attended an impact tour event recently in North America. And we're going to be talking about that tonight, about how the impact tour impacted these people. So Peg Coates, Rosie Donahoe, and David Key, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Good to be here. Glad to be here. So let's start with Peg. I know you uh, attended the Spokane event. In fact, I think all three of you attended the Spokane event, but there were also events in North Carolina and also in San Antonio, Texas. So uh, let's talk about the event in Spokane, Peg, and tell us, give us a little insight for those of us who didn't make it. What kind of impact did it have on you? Well, I know, you know, Cindy, the thing that's so beautiful about that is the outlook for me, it just helped me uh, expand and, you know, inspire my outlook for the future. Because the leaders that were there, uh, some of them were new to me. And I'm, I've been with this company a long time, uh, since before it was launched. And so I'm very protective of it. I love ASEA. I love the product, the company. I love what it's doing in the world. So I'm very, very careful, carefully watch the new leaders that come in from that perspective of like a mother bear kind of. And um, boy, I was not disappointed. Um, it, it was clear to me that we are in such good hands. You know, uh, Scott Aldred was there. Of course, he's our president and CEO and is the man who does so much. Oh, my goodness. You know, I just don't think people have any idea what goes into running a, a company that's in 33 international markets, um, the regulations alone in those different markets and the financial piece, it's just gigantic. And it was so <laughs> lovely to have his wife with him as well. Um, so that was that was part of it, trusting in the leadership, uh, getting to meet Hunter Dean. You know, he he's... Uh, in charge of production and uh, operations and is a chemical engineer. He's, he's, uh, he's sharp. I don't know how to say it any other way, just amazing. And then, you know, uh, the other person that was there that really lit me up was uh, Henry, Henry Lopez, who is, you know, the, the guy that does the formulation of our cell performance product uh, he gave so much wonderful information, in-depth information about the different cell performance products. And I can go more into that. I don't want to steal all the thunder here, but I, um, he was impressive to say the least. Uh, he gave us some information on telemars that we can discuss as we get into this, but, uh, so such new earth shattering differences that we have to offer to people. Um, let's see what else. Oh, also excited about the future. My goodness, you know, we have new products coming down the pike really soon. We were told that they would be here not within months, but within weeks. So, you know, buckle up, buckle up, buckle up, sunshines, because we've got some great stuff coming down. Um, we had, of course, fantastic leaders that, uh, many of us have come to love and follow. Uh, Tammy Gates did a tremendous presentation on creating systems. And she said a system really is, uh, it saves yourself stress, uh, time, energy, and money. And so that the, the secret in systems is that it helps you to duplicate more effectively and efficiently. Of course, Alan Noble, the king of all mindset training, uh, well, one of the kings, I'll put it that way, uh, certainly did also talk a little bit about that. One of the things that I've always get moved by is Sarah Blakely. If you don't know who she is, she invented Spanx. And her attitude, her mindset was set young when she was young. Her father expected her to fail every week. He'd ask her, ask her you know, how did you fail this week? And I think that's almost revolutionary. You know, I mean, how many parents ask their kids to fail? And what he was doing basically was helping them to understand you can fail your way to success if you accept the failure as a way to grow. And um, 
So Alan did that training and, it, and part of his message was, you know, it's not what we achieve, it's how we grow that matters and uh, to release the past. Um, I think for me, his analogy, and you all have heard it before, where, you know, we get caught up in looking at the rear view mirror when we're trying to drive forward. And his he he really brought a kind of a shift to that picture, which was what would happen if we could put our vision in front of us as though we were looking through a windshield and just could look up at the rear view and it'd be nothing but a blur. There'd be mm -hmm. like nothing there to hold our attention backwards, but to keep us moving forward. Um, I don't know, Cindy, I know we have limited amounts of time. I don't want to go too long, but um yeah, you those know, are good it, thoughts. Those are those are good thoughts, and we'll circle back around. But yeah, oh, it, all right. obviously we had some field leadership as well as some corporate leadership, and you know, given given uh, all kinds of insight from all kinds of different angles. Because obviously, this business is, um, you know, it's it's got lots of pieces and parts, and lots of moving parts, and lots of things that have to be in alignment in order to succeed. So. Yeah, well, the other David. beautiful thing is they always touch, they always do touch on all the different levels, like you're saying. And so it wouldn't be an ASEA event if ASEA advancing life wasn't represented there too, in terms of all the good we're doing in the world. And for some people, that means everything. You know, they're, the people that are service oriented, they want to make a difference. It's a form of legacy other than some of the other look at how people see legacy. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop. Because exactly. yeah, I know yeah. David wants to take the whole floor over. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, same with Rosie. Of, Rosie is chomping at the bit. <laughs> part of what um, SC is about is being a force for good in the world. And so there's lots of ways that we can be a force for good in the world. So David Key, how did the impact tour affect you? How did it impact you and your perspective? Well, I must have climbed in the brain of Peg because it's similar analogies and relationships and information that I took away. You asked for the three top significant things that I took away. And first of all, Cindy, I'd like to thank you for hosting these wonderful weekly meetings. They're always powerful and you have great guests, not that we are, we're normal guests, but we're all great. And thank you for always hosting these. Um, the three things I took away, and then I'll comment a little more on them. One's the extreme significance of corporate's presence and involvement in the event. They're always great, but it seemed more significant. Then number two um, is that the message of the future. And number three is what Vicki and I did for Vicki and I. So um, number one, this corporate significance in their presence, it was extremely obvious that they were well prepared. They were well practiced. And they were really committed. They brought 10 people and usually they bring two or three to an event. So they had, like uh, Peg said, they had Scott Allred president talk. And he talked about the history of the company and some of the things that are going forward. And then there was some very youthful, obvious presence. And it wasn't just youthful hired for pretty faces, even though they were probably pretty faces, that's not my point. They were hired because they came up within. They came from in the company. They really were knowledgeable. They were very conversant. They were very polite. They were very engaging. They had a, a presence that when they're on stage, they commanded presence, even if they were youthful, not even if they were because they're youthful. And so it was attracting to the people that we signed up at the event because they were probably useful people. They were humorous. They were personable. And think about this. All the people, those 10 people that came, they had to give up their personal family weekends. They had to travel. They had to live in hotels for several days because they come before and leave afterwards. They joined the after party. So there was a, an extreme commitment by corporate. Um, like Peg said, Henry Lopez talked about products. Hunter Dean talked about the complexities and the problems in the quality control in the factory. And not always problems, but solutions. And then there was others there that manned the front desk. They were never had that presence before. They had lanyards. They answered the questions. They did sign ups for people. We had people signing up because corporate was doing it for us. So it was amazing. We didn't have to babysit them, so to speak. We paid attention to the conference. And then secondly, number two, um, there was a clear message that really, even though they were all talking about stuff, new products, 
But really they were talking about the future. They were talking about the strategies in place that are focused for the science, the research, not just, well, this isn't very polite for me to say, but corporate fluff. Sometimes people say, oh, everything is beautiful. And that's, yeah, it is, but they didn't make it that way. They made content that let us draw that conclusion that everything's beautiful. And our summary and takeaway was we're at the right place at the right time, even though we've been in this for 12 years, taking three company tours, three factory tours, and we still believe that this is the place to be. Thanks. Yeah, David, I appreciate you so much. And I know that you came from another network marketing company. I know that you have a, you and Vicki had some experience with the Amway company. Oh, sure. Before the ASEA company, do you see huge differences between Amway and ASEA? Oh, not just Amway, but yes. Um, we were in multiple companies, I think 10. Oh, wow. Okay. We just hadn't found our home. And some of it was personalities of the leaders that were all about ego and fluff and yeah. some of that. And that kind of drove me wild. I'm a more of an analytical personality, more like the people we saw today or this week. Um, so, yeah, extremely different. Um, this is an ethics based company, not a hype based and other events, things that I could talk about. <laughs> so, sure, absolutely. And it's probably with all of them. Um, I had one company fall apart because there was no integrity at the top. Um, so sure. Yeah. Well, I know that that Scott's word for this company is unity and Chuck Funky's word for this company is duty. So when you get around the corporate people, you really, you know, feel what they're devoted to. And um, yeah, it the 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 partnership between corporate and the field is pretty pretty special. I've never been supported the way we've been supported by the ASEA Corporation. It's pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. So thanks for that. Hey Rosie, how did this impact tour impact you? Oh my God, it was just fantastic. It was fantastic to go and see <laughs> all of you and Cindy. We missed you. It was like oh. It just made me very happy to see people that I've been uh, connected to for the last 13 years and to see them growing, to see people who've had some pretty uh, intense health struggles, to be there, to be in health, to show up. It's, you know, that part was magnificent, fed my heart. Um, I, I had uh, nine people come from, well, eight from Montana and my youngest brother came from <clears throat> Washington and um, he's been taking the products almost as long as I have. And he's finally engaging in the business, you guys, 13 years. So you just never give up on anybody. And he came and he, he just, he loved Alan Noble. I mean, it was like um, two, two minds meeting. So that was really fun. I, I just, the overall message that we have the opportunity to bring hope to the world, it, it's just, uh, it's woven into it all by all the speakers, um, all these people that are just growing. This is a personal development business, you guys. <laughs> you think it's about growing a business and making money? Well, <laughs> it's personal development. And um, I, I really want to acknowledge Sean Burke for sharing his response to the self-performance, because for me, uh, his using the mood to deal with uh, issues that have plagued him ever since he served in Panama. And, you know, as a veteran, the impact of ASEA on his life as an athlete. I mean, I'm an athlete, I'm a tennis player standing back and watching what's happened to him from that perspective. And then for him to share the self-performance, boy, do I have a story I just want to tell about self-performance, but I'll, I'll button it up. Um, let's see what else. I think um, Alan Noble's mindset, just like Peg said, you know, look at, <laughs> look at what's coming. Don't be doing the rear view mirror thing. And I've been doing the rear view mirror thing and and God bless that man. I mean, he's an eight figure earner and he developed uh, Discover Redux for all of us to help us. And I see him at the event and <laughs> this is a little personal, but you know, it's like, 
So yeah, I'm a platinum. He's a, I don't know how far up there. <laughs> anyway, he says, hey, Rosie, how about living a day without doing one judgment on yourself? Just thinking positive, positive for the whole day. And, you know, that was a huge takeaway because I've been looking at that. Oh, yeah, I changed that thought. And it was just, you know, it, it's just beautiful. Um, oh, there's lots. Awareness is key. It, it gave me just um, went to the um, eye doctor sitting next to a woman. And the awareness was that I needed to talk with her. So you go to an event like this, which, oh, by the way, was free for people. Now, what kind of a company brings 10 of their corporate folks and offers it for free and enables people to come and learn and get the vibe and, and feel the hope, which is the gift that we give every day when we open our mouths, which I did with this woman. And the only thing I could think to say was, wow, you got some pretty and amazing uh, nails. Now I've never done that. <laughs> but her hers were magnificent, and and she's now a preferred customer. So you guys, um, that was an uplift for me. It was absolutely a gift to have my brother Jim there, to a couple of new associates there, people that traveled. I mean, we traveled five hours to be there. The next one is the um, convention, and I just want to encourage all of you to come and bring, bring people that you love or people that you like or people that you're getting to. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, when you bring uh, your friends or, or people that you want to, you know, show them your family, you bring them to, let's just say a family reunion. By the time they meet your aunt and your uncle and your cousins and your grandparents and your kids and whatever, they've got a pretty good idea for your family. And that's kind of what happens when people come to an ASEA event, they really get the, oh, wow, these are the guys that are running the show at the corporate office. These are the people that are out in the field, you know, teaching those who want to learn about what we're doing. And there's a whole, there's a whole vibe that you get by being in the ASEA environment that you can't explain to somebody. It's something you have to experience, right? And it, and you can, you can tell if it's your, if it's your tribe or if it's if you just don't fit in and and the the ethos of this company is so strong that we it attracts the right people and it repels the wrong people which is you know this business is not for everybody it is it is for the ones that are attracted to what we are working so hard to um create day after day after day after day by keeping our principles of uh, above our drive for ego uh, satisfaction and economic enjoyment. We're on top of, in, in front of that, we're being honest, we're being authentic. We are, you know, being in integrity. We're, you know, we're being compassionate. We're being kind. We're being those humanitarian things that, you know, human beings in, on, on a humanitarian mission um, um, exuberate. And that's, you know, so the people that are attracted to that kind of, those kind of values are going to absolutely love ASEA. And people who aren't or don't value those things are just not going to fit in. They're just not going to feel like it's home. But I know that everyone on this screen, when we went and really got to know ASEA and saw it from the top all the way to the bottom, we thought, oh my gosh, we never thought that something like this actually exists. And it does. It's right here. I finally found my home. So yeah, excellent. And and Rosie, you're so smart to bring these people and expose them to what ASEA has to offer because there's no video and no sales pitch or not even a product experience that can give them the picture that an event like that can give them. So you're very wise to leverage the event. That's why we do events, right? That's why we do events to grow the network and to expose new people to the specialness of what we've got going on. So um, yeah, Peg, let's circle around to you. I know that you were talking about telomeres. Why don't you, uh, you know, explain a little bit more about what you learned from, from Henry about telomeres and the cell performance product. 
Yeah, let me, I'm going to pull up some notes here because um, I want to get it really right. This is something that we can say and make claims about. And uh, I've had people ask me, what about telomeres? What, is, what does this product do and technology do with telomeres? And I'm like, uh, you know, I, I didn't have a clue. And so, you know, to get educated here at this impact, to find out that the, the research is saying, yeah, you know, telomeres are basically the little protective covers that go on the ends of our DNA. And as we age, they get shorter, right? They get shorter. Well, um, all, th all three, all three of our performance products contain ingredients that support the growth of telomeres. That's, that's a big statement. Um, and that's directly related to aging. Keeping those telomeres long is directly related to aging and it doesn't affect any of the people on this screen. As you can see, um, as we age, we experience more stress uh, and our telomeres naturally get shorter. But if we can, you know, maintain healthy ones, then we're going to have our cells functioning proper, properly and have a much longer life. So that's another powerful part to the ingredients in the cell performance line. That's in all three of the ones that we have out now. and. Um, so that's exciting. They also talked more, Rosie touched on it in terms of the mood. You know, that's remarkable. Sean Burke's story is really remarkable. Um, and so they went into uh, one of the major ingredients in that mood uh, powder, and it's called Afrin, which is actually, the, it's, it's an ingredient for cognitive health, right? So they, he had a breakdown and some, I bet you we'll see it again in convention, I'm certain of it, that all the things that the mood affects, you know, it affects uh, confusion and an anger and depression and all of these different aspects that come with being down, right? And part of that is connected to sleep too. So the Afrin helps with the body going ahead and producing more melatonin to help with the sleep. So that's that's another one but the cell performance line you guys is coming on i mean we've got new ones coming up and the more i learn and the more we study and the more we try these little straws that are so power packed with the right ingredients i think the more exciting it is in terms of what we offer to people in alternative even to the redox right but to have redox based uh ingredients uh, I think uh, is really incredible and incredible. Yeah, and you don't have to fight a war to have traumatic stress problems, right? And the sure. mood is just designed to, you know, take the edge off. And so whether you have, you know, traumatic stress after an event, you know, whether it's a war or whether it's a, you know, unhealthy apartment or, <laughs> you know, there's lots of things that a divorce, uh, you know, a, a death, a you know, there's lots of things that cause, you know, stress after an event. And uh, I'm so glad that Sean has gotten some relief from his, you know, his uh, events. And, and I know that one of the things they mentioned at a fly-in that I attended recently is that the other thing that they're learning with the mood is that there's ingredients in the mood that help women with perimenopause, right. so with hot flashes and those kind of things, which is a huge deal because all of that, if that stuff affects our mood, which is affects how we treat other people. It also affects our sleep. And we all know that we heal when we sleep. So sleep is a critical part of the healing, you know, mechanism that needs to be happening, you know, with, with the body. So yes, really, really exciting stuff. And we're not making any health claims when it comes to the products but we can make health claims when it comes to the ingredients because they're proven ingredients that deliver very specific results. And those ingredients are in our mind, our mood, and our energy products. And the more often you use these products, the more profound the um, results become. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, David, do you have anything to add to that? Well, you drove a point really home that when they make statements about 
the pro contents of the product do certain things like improve cognitive awareness. It's not ASEA making the claims because you already mentioned it. I'm just kind of repeating, but essentially that it's been tested by big companies already that led the foregrounds that that ingredient is important. So ASEA didn't have to go out and test the ingredient. They can use the already tested scientific information that validates what they've already said. So that is fabulous. And uh, the Afron products are amazing that Peg talked about. And so, yeah, the cumulative effect and the multiple uh, effects of all three of products are domain, uh, amazing. And I think they, back to what I said earlier, it's all based on scientific stuff, not just hype and claim. So no, I thank you. Yeah, and what some companies do is they put they sprinkle a little bit of this and they sprinkle a little bit of that in the products, but they don't have efficacious doses so that you actually get the result that's required in order to get that you know effect. And so ASEA is a science company. It is based in science, and so they're not just going to sprinkle a little fairy dust for you know for you know marketing reasons. They're putting an efficacious dose in each product to make sure that you have that result within 20 minutes of taking the product. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff. The, the cell performance products are very specific with their results where the cell signaling products are very general and are really tapping into our innate intelligence and is giving, you know, and really tapping into our body's individual biochemistry. So together. May, I, you know, may I interrupt a little bit and let a cat or two out of the bag and then you guys can have a floor again, but it's my style. Um, they announced a new redox molecule containing product and they let us, some of the people in the audience awareness that the clay mask that's coming out does contain redox molecules. And another new product that's coming out is Radiance, a, another cell performance pack. And that's coming out in like Peg said in a few weeks and that is collagen based. Yeah, really Cats exciting. out of the bag. You yeah. know, I'll tell you something too, if I can jump in. I, I really think, you know, Renew 28 is phenomenal for showing people almost immediate effects. But I think, you know, those of us that are starting to snuggle up with the cell performance, uh, I've had tremendous results with immediate results with those. Uh, a young guy in my BNI group was drinking a Red Bull and I gave him an energy and mind pack and went, Hey, dude, try these instead. He came back the next week and said, how do I get more of that stuff? And he told the group, this energy stuff, it's it gives me sustained energy. It's not like I'm, you know, doing crack cocaine. <laughs> so I think, again, we have new new uh, uh, products that give people pretty immediate effect. And uh, that's that's a really nice gift to have to offer to people. Yeah, it is. And Rosie, you intimated to an experience you had recently that you might want to spill the beans now. You you kind of didn't want to tell us about it when you were talking before, but maybe you can tell us about it now. Okay, well, real quick, um, registered three or three weeks ago or so, I uh, signed up to do a tennis tournament, 65 and older, right? Because I'm 78 and nobody signs up. So I sign up for the 18 and older open tournament. <laughs> And, you, um, Rosie. I, and I play gal 20 years. So I got to buy first round, second round gal, 20 years, some odd years younger than me. And I won three, uh, the, went to a tiebreaker and I won. Okay. So my, the final was with an 18 year old. Now you guys, I want you to picture this 60 years difference. And what I do is I take a um, cell. I take the, the energy so I just have like an hour between those two matches. Don't eat anything. Just take the cell performance. I mean, the um, energy and a vitamin C, drink it down. Boom, it's time to go play. And I'd use the Renew earlier on a knee that sometimes talks to me just to make sure. Drank some more ASEA. I get out there, 6163. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the cell performance. It's like, oh my God, I just, it's like, I'm so grateful. That's so great. That's so great. Well, I think it also has to do with years of practice in tennis as well, Rosie. <laughs> I agree, Cindy. Absolutely. There's a little Rosie in there as well. Yes. 
I, yeah. I promise well, you guys, I am not a great tennis player. I mean, I'm a three five for so th those of you that know, but when you have the ability to be mentally present and have the ability to run after the ball and get it, then you up your chances. And that's yeah. what that's what a CA gave me. Fantastic. Well, we're at the bottom of the half hour. Just final takeaways. Peg, one takeaway about you know why you're glad you attended the Impact Tour. One takeaway. I can make a difference in the world with this great prospect of giving people hope. Excellent. Dave, what's your one takeaway? Makes me excited to have signed up already for convention. There you go. And Rosie, what about you? Uh, develop your ability to vision your future and live in the future, not the past. There you go. Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm so glad that you guys thank attended you. so that we could live vicariously through your experience. And thanks for sharing your experience with us tonight. Really appreciate all three of you guys. Thanks, thanks, Cindy. Thanks, appreciate thanks, thanks, you. You're thanks, awesome. Cindy. Thanks for the invite. Blessings, everybody. Good night, everybody. You too, David. Good night.